Hello everyone, I am going to talk about a course which is there in Postgraduate Diploma in Management Entrepreneurship. This course is about financial accounting, financial reporting, statement and analysis. In this course, we are going to learn about how to write accounts, how to analyze accounts, how to understand how to understand the financial data in terms of taking decisions, in terms of taking entrepreneurial decisions. In this course, I'm going to teach you the basics of concepts of accounting. There are several concepts to be followed by each and every person who is writing accounts, reading accounts, or analyzing accounts. I'm going to talk in detail the concepts of accounting, the equation of accounting. We have only one equation in the whole accounting course known as assets are always equal to owner's equity and liability. I'll teach you how this equation helps in making balance sheet, in making income statements, and also to understand the cash flows from the business organization. So in this course, with the concepts, I'm also going to teach you the mechanics of accounts, how to write accounts, how to write accounts in different books of accounts. We have many books of accounts in a business. You will be learn during this course that sales will be recorded in sales book, purchase in purchase books, and there are many, many books of accounts in one small business. One has to learn all those statements, all those books of accounts. Other than writing accounts, I'm also going to teach you how to read them. How to read them so that you can take decisions out of it. So decision making is the four, is the, is the core and forefront thing of the whole course. I'm going to make you a decision maker, an entrepreneur, who is taking decisions based on the accounting data, based on the financial data. And that can be done only if you have very good understanding about the various statements. So in this course, I am also going to teach you how to read statements, how to analyze them. And for analysis, I'm going to give you certain tools, certain techniques to analyze those statements because you are not only working for your organization you are going to invest in many other businesses and when you are going to make investments you need to know the basics of analysis and that analysis would help you to take decision whether to invest in x company or in y company or in z company that will be that will be really helpful if you can understand all those tools and why not you are going to become an entrepreneur or going to take up your own family business as a successor. In both the cases, you are going to take hundreds of decisions in a year. And decisions can be taken in the best possible manner only if you have very good understanding of accounting and financial data. Because end of the day, business is what? It is just the financial data. Whatever you do in the business, it is reflected in the financial statements. And in that case, you need to know in detail about all those financial statements. So, through this course, how we are going to help you? Number one, we are going to help you understand the accounting uh, mechanics, how to write accounts. Number two, how to prepare statements means what all the statements are there, you need to learn how to prepare those statements. Number three, how to read those statements, whether your firm's statements or some other company's statements. That is, that is number three. Number four, how to analyze statements. Means you have statements, you are going to analyze. Like you have, you have many statements of previous years, you are going to see how we are performing, how we have performed in past five years. In that sense, you need to know how to analyze statements. And number five, the most important thing, how to take decisions based on the analysis of statements. So these are the five things, five takeaways, I would say you are going to have in this course. I, I would need your support throughout the course. 
I would request you to bring cases that you have in your hands that you get from other sources so that we can discuss all those cases in details in the classroom and everybody will learn with that. Also, I would like to highlight here that I'm going to use many, many small and medium enterprises cases in the class. Why? Because the SMEs have unique feature in India and all those cases that we have prepared, that we have, we have developed would be discussed in the class so that you can relate easily with your business. I'm not going to make big cases of multinationals because we are training you to develop your own enterprise. So many cases of startups, many cases of SMEs would be discussed in this class. And the important thing is your cooperation is needed. Your preparation is needed. Your proactiveness is needed so that everybody would learn at the fullest and become a really successful entrepreneur with the help of accounting and financial statement. Thank you very much.